Hi, I'm Brian from Atomic Moto and I'm here to do a review of the Guernet SG10 boots. This is one of our favorite models in the Guernet line and one of our favorite boots overall. It's got a lot of really cool features. I'm going to break them all down for you. Let's get started. First, let me give you the basics of the SG10. Now, this model comes in sizes 6 all the way up to size 14. And it weighs 4.79 pounds for this size 10 here. Now, the Guernet SG10 is a pretty traditional off-road boot, meaning that it has some traditional off-road boot features like a stitched on welt sole construction. That is our preferred method of attaching the sole. It's a little bit more expensive. It is a little bit more durable. It gives a little bit more protection. It's old school Italian boot building. We really dig it. It also means that the sole can be replaced. Uh, the SG10 has four buckles and Guernet's buckle design is outstanding. They work like butter, whether they've got mud or dirt in them. Uh, they're really easy to adjust. They're super durable and they're relatively inexpensive and easy to replace should you ever need to, though that's very, very rare. Uh, the SG10 has some other really cool features like a silicone burn guard here on the in, inner side of the boot and that actually works very well. It works, the shape of that works very well because it's really easy and beneficial to grip the bike with that. And then the other thing the SG10 has that we absolutely love, we've talked about it many times, is a mechanical hinge at the ankle. Now this is a single pivot hinge, but it's got a clever little addition to it, which you can see right here. This little hole is the main pivot on the inner and outer side of the boot. Mechanically hinged boots allow you to have a lot of plastic, but allow that plastic to bend and flex very easily. Uh, without having to crease and fold that plastic. It means you have more protection, but really smooth movement. Now the clever addition on the SG10 is that they actually have another pivot here uh, on its Razorback design that works with the second strap. And that means that you can really crank this strap down. When you flex the boot forward, the strap doesn't curve inward and bite you just above the, the transition from your foot to your leg. Much, much more comfortable, allows you to really cinch the boot down in that critical strap because that's one that holds your foot back, um, back more. Uh, the other thing the SG10 has is a clever system for accommodating people with larger calves. Now I've used this screwdriver here to remove the upper buckle on this particular boot and I have it inverted here just to have this outside. Now, this buckle is held on by a plate with two screws, really easy to remove, just takes a few seconds. And it comes installed in this position here on the upper boot, but you can actually remove it and move it forward and that gives you a little bit of extra extension. And I'll show you what that looks like on these two boots. This one is in the forward position, this one is in the rearward position. And um, the other thing that I need to do here is to open up this top part of the boot so I can show you. It has a longer gaiter. This is actually extended so that when you do have a bigger calf and you're only closing it a little bit, there's no overlap or no gap there. Really simple, really clever, typical of uh, Guernet. They have a lot of smart ideas for how to make boots work in all situations. Uh, last but not least on the basics is um, the footbed. This is a premium boot and it's got a cheap footbed in it. We wish all the manufacturers would look hard at upgrading this. You know, they do so much, great buckles, great padding on the inside, Walt sole, and they finish it off with an inexpensive footbed. You really get a big improvement when you take this thing and throw it in the trash and replace it with something a little bit better. So that's the explanation of the basics. Let's talk about how it's gonna work out on the bike. Hopefully this comes through in the camera, but when you hold these in your hands and look at them, the quality of the plastic, the injection molding, the stitching, the materials used, and again also the fit, everything about these is really premium. They just tend to exceed your expectations. There are some brands out there that are starting to cut corners and cut costs on their product. These things are still pleasantly passionately, awesomely Italian. They look great, they feel great, they work great. The other thing to talk about is the protection of this boot. Now, it's kind of a mid-price, maybe mid-high boot, uh, but the support and protection of this boot is outstanding. A few reasons why. First of all, there is full plastic up the inner side of the boot, and if you try to push on this, it has support up the entire area. So. 
in this direction, which is what occurs if a motorcycle falls on you, uh, there is more support than some other comparably, comparably priced models. The impact protection around the entire boot is just fantastic. The Razorback design is good protection here, a uh, lot of support in the heel. Little area here that's just PVC, but it's got some nice heavy padding on it, so that's pretty good too. The entire shell of the boot, though, is almost entirely covered by plastic. Balancing that out, the mechanical hinge on the SG10 works phenomenally. It is just super easy to flex. I mean, it's really, I don't have to do much to get this boot to bend. It's just butter smooth. And um, that just has lots of benefits for comfort, but also for shifting and braking. Speaking to shifting and braking, the toe area of the boot, this is not the lowest out there. CD definitely is the best at, at keeping a really, really slim forefoot, a really low forefoot to get under the shift lever. Again, it's got a little bit of work to do there. However, um, that's not the whole story. Uh, a low, slim forefoot is part of what you need to get under the shift lever. The other thing you need is a really good mechanical hinge, a really smooth action, and this has that. So this is still one of the easier boots to shift with. Again, talking about the mechanical hinge, it actually gives really good feedback on the brake pedal. If you um, have a really stiff boot and you're pressing down on the brake, you don't really feel much. You're spending so much energy working against the plastic of the boot that it's difficult to feel the resistance of the brake pedal. Less so on this, it's actually quite good for brake feel. Uh, the padding in and around the ankle area really nests you and holds you in place. And, um, and also in the heel area. Now that's, that's an important thing. The best shape, in our opinion, for a boot is really slim and, um, and compact in the ankle and in the heel area, and then a little wider in the forefoot. That helps give more room for your, your feet for people that may or even may not have, um, have a wide forefoot. But then again, the rear half of the boot helps hold you in place. That's the best shape, and these guys do a pretty good job of nailing that. The last thing about it to talk about is really the durability. Now, SG10s are legendary for their, their durability, and one of the reasons why we waited with this model to test it is because the old SG10 was a, one of my favorite boots, one of our favorite boots, one of the best boots ever made, period. And I really want to get a little bit of time on this one and understand it. And the durability of this new SG10 easily, confidently say, is on par with the old ones and on par with all other Garnet boots, uh, which is to say outstanding. They just really hold up. Who is this boot for? Well, if you're looking for a, an outstanding off-road or aggressive dual sport or adventure touring boot, this should be on your short list. It just does everything really well. And that's probably a good point to wrap up our review of the Garnet SG10. We are Atomic Moto, www.atomic dashmotor.com, home of the bombers. We are mission focused on finding great stuff like this, getting the time in the product out in the field, getting the time to understand it so that when we talk to you, we can do so intelligently, present the good stuff, not a sales pitch, but what really truly works like this. Uh, you can, we have fast free shipping and easy return policies. And of course, we'd like you to check out our YouTube channel, subscribe to us again, www.atomic-motor.com, home of the bombers. And we hope to see you out on the bike.